first go on to whatever browser you want and then what you need to do is search lunar client on whatever search browser you have so after this click on enter and at the first link you can see the number one free minecraft client click on that and afterwards scroll down click on download select whatever platform you're using for me i'm going to use windows since it's a very popular option and click on save in case if you get this pop-up and afterwards click on the download icon on the top right and i'll click on lunarclient.exe click on i agree close your browser if you want and it's gonna download the package for you and after it's downloaded it's gonna show like this now click on launch 1.21 or if it doesn't show up then click on this right arrow and i'll click on 1.21 on the right hand corner and click on lunar i'm gonna use lunar not fabric you can choose whatever you want but both provide the same level of fps boost so i'm gonna select lunar and after this launch your game it's gonna say updating and building cache and it's gonna launch for you so that's awesome and after it's launched, it's going to look like this. Before you optimize our settings, we're going to create a flat world. So click on single player, click on create new world, and the world name would be. Please subscribe for more Minecraft videos like this so we can hit 15,000 subscribers. I'm going to go to world and click on super flat. So let's go create new world and wait for it. All right, so the world has finally launched and as you can see, it's looking very clean and wait, well, actually not so clean. It looks very cluttered because of Lunar Client's already added widgets. Before we optimize our settings, let's see our FPS count from Vanilla Minecraft. As you can see, we're on Vanilla Minecraft and we're on the same world. And as you can see, it looks very stuttery for me, even though it's default settings from Lunar Client. Like it's, it feels a bit stuttery, but when I launched on Lunar Client, the same exact world with the exact same settings, it was not as stuttery as the vanilla minecraft is even though i have a good computer but for some reason minecraft doesn't like my computer i don't know why anyways let's do f3 and as you can see it can barely hit 200 fps and this shows how worse the vanilla minecraft is so let's go to lunar client and optimize these settings so we just launched the lunar client and first thing we're gonna do is click on the right shift key on your keyboard and let's remove these clutters if you want to it's your personal preference to be honest don't add too many widgets on your lunar client because it's gonna be laggy after all I'm gonna remove the ender dragon counter unless if you play high pixel a lot and I'm also gonna remove the direction HD all right so now what you want to do is click on mods and you can see the mod menu all right so first thing you want to do is enable some mods or and disable some if you want but for me I'm gonna do my own stuff motion blur well if you want to get a lot of FPS then don't enable motion blur because it costs your performance so avoid using motion blur if you have a bad computer let's go to the settings now now this is where we come to play. Alright, so if you don't care about cosmetics and what player wears the cosmetics inside of Lunar Client, then you can disable all of them since if you enable all of these, then it's going to cost all of your performance. So I recommend you to disable all of them unless if you're curious on whatever the player's wearing inside of Lunar Client. Anyways, after we disabled it, let's go to performance and this is where the main stuff happens. Alright, so first, hide the foliage and hide the end portals as always. Show enchantment glint to none. Lazy chunk loading to, well, you want you don't want to put it too off because it's, it's going to be off only for vanilla. So put it at lowest because that's going to be on lunar client. And afterwards, don't touch these two settings, HUD and limit unfocused because they're very important. And don't touch the max unfocused and max main menu because if you crank both of these up then you're gonna have a lot of problems in your game so don't touch these two main settings scroll bars disable shadow you don't want shadows show ground skull nope show stuck arrows disable hide placed skulls entities you can do from lowest and tile entities lowest as well so now we are done that's awesome on lunar client and also let's optimize our minecraft settings which i forgot to show at start i was supposed to do it at start for fov we can change whatever you want but i'm gonna crank it up to quake pro because it's my favorite anyways let's go to video settings all right so for biome blend just keep it off for fastest um keep your graphics to fastest smooth lighting off v-sync off and put your GUI scale to 2 for more FPS because you don't want those fat buttons staring at you. Put your brightness to bright so it's going to be helpful. Map, map levels to off, off, FOV effects to off, glint speed to off, many background blur to off, glint strength to off, entity distance to 50%. 
entry shadows off, particles decreased, view bobbing off, and render distance two chunks and simulation distance to five chunks. All right, we are done. This is awesome. All right, after applying the lunar client settings at the top left corner, we're getting a lot more FPS. It's at 2000 FPS, as you can see, but you know what? It was very awesome. And if we look at the sky, it's going to increase even more. It's literally at 2000 FPS, which means that lunar client is the best for real. And even if I do F3, as you can see, it has 30 times more frames than what we got in vanilla Minecraft, which is why people think Lunar Client is the best client for Minecraft. That was it for this video. If you like, then subscribe to this channel for more Minecraft texture packs or Lunar Client videos like this. And as always, peace out, collabs.